Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be doing the T-Mobile Network Test Drive uh, eSIM version. So um, if, you're a, if you're a subscriber of this channel you would know that uh, I did a T-Mobile Network Test Drive for their hotspot device and I had a lot of fun with that and um, just a couple of days ago they released this new network test drive. Now as you can see it gives you 30 days unlimited talk and text and uh, 30 gigabytes of data or 30 days whatever it hits first. Now um, this is perfect on iPhone XS or newer because it uses a feature called eSIM. Now if you don't know what eSIM is basically there is a SIM card that runs your phone uh, your phone service, sorry, and that's going to look like this, if I can get my case off. Um, anyways, basically what your SIM card does, it has, basically, it stores information about your carrier, um, basically stating what plan you have and that it's allowed to make a connection to your carrier, uh, for example, Verizon, AT&T, Cricket, Sprint, any, anyone like that. Um, and that's what allows you to have phone service. Now, here you can see my SIM card. It's literally, it's that small. And uh, as you can see, no SIM card, so that's no service. This is this is eSIM, so it doesn't run off of a physical SIM card. It runs off of one that's inside of the phone that you can just download profiles to that uh, allows it to work. Now, eSIM typically has better coverage and sometimes better speeds, so um, this will be fun to test out and see what uh, happens here. Go ahead and get that app downloaded. Now, basically, the setup process for this should be really, really simple. What you're going to do is you're going to download this T-Mobile Network Test Drive app, which uh, link will be in the description, or you could just go to the App Store and look up Network Test Drive. I'm not sure if they do this with Android or not, but I'm going to assume not, um, because eSIM isn't as popular with Androids as uh, iPhone. But anyways, basically you're going to go ahead and open up that app and we're going to be able to set up the eSIM from here. I'm sure there's going to be a couple steps in the app that we'll have to do um, before it gives us our eSIM profile to download. So connecting minutes with uh, keeping access to your current carrier, uh, that would be because you can have a SIM card and an eSIM card, which allows you to have dual SIM. So for example, you could have two numbers or two data packages, uh, for example, what I have. And, um, yeah, get 30 days or up to 30 gigabytes of data and unlimited talk and text. So we're going to go ahead and press that little pink button. Now, you can um, use an eSIM if you have uh, the eSIM option, that is iPhone XS and up, or you can get a physical SIM card mailed to you and go about that way. But uh, with eSIM, it's like pretty quick and easy setup under two minutes. But um, basically, whenever you open this app and do this, do you know if you're currently using a physical SIM card or an eSIM on your phone? Now, this is basically what you would primarily use. So I'm using a physical SIM card personally uh, because my carrier does not offer eSIM. But we'd like to send you important status updates about your T-Mobile network test drive. Yeah, that, this is basically going to be your data, like saying your, um, for example, like, if you're 80% of your data or whatever. Now you're going to want to fill out this little form, uh, put in your first, last uh, names, and then your email, phone number, and zip code. So you're going to want to go ahead and fill that information out. And as I fill that out, I will be back with the next steps. Now, for example, I am an existing T-Mobile customer because I did do the uh, test drive uh, for their device here, but I have a million different numbers and a million different emails, so uh, basically I can do it as, much, as many times as I want, uh, as many phone numbers as I can find, basically. Alright, so before we start your free trial, please review the following instructions to make sure you're setting up the T-Mobile correctly, uh, T-Mobile network correctly. So this is basically going to tell you how to add your eSIM. Uh, now, I'm personally going to show you this myself, so that is no problem. Well, don't worry about that. Now, uh, it'll set up, and then basically it'll prompt us to, it should prompt us to download the eSIM, uh, or the eSIM downloader should just kind of come up. So I'm going to go ahead and let that set up. After about uh, 5 to 10 seconds of waiting, we did get the test drive network. So, we're going to go ahead and click continue. Now this is installing that profile to your eSIM right now. So you're going to want to go ahead and add, add that T-Mobile cellular plan. Uh, you can do labels. So for example, your primary SIM card, I'm just going to keep as primary, and then my secondary SIM card, which is the new one, I'm just going to keep secondary for T-Mobile. 
Now your default uh, line, which is what you're going to want to use to call or text people. I'm going to keep this as primary. And then it'll allow you to uh, select your iMessage and FaceTime. But I do eSIM videos so often that I don't even... That was a weird thing. But I do eSIM videos so often that I just don't even select anything. Because I just don't even want to mess with it. And then I click continue. Now cellular, cellular data. This is where I want to uh, hit secondary. And then I... You probably won't have this. But because I've tried so many eSIMs and had so many different numbers, uh, I have to do that. Okay. Welcome. So... Basically, um, this is going to be my trial. So, 30 days remaining, and uh, basically it gives you your phone number right here, and your trial status, uh, which is active. And, um, yep, there's never been a better time, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now I just got a text message saying your network test drive is ready to go. Give the network a try. Um, just update your carrier settings or on your phone. Make sure secondary is selected under cellular data and enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off that Wi-Fi. Now, this should come with 5G. Yep, this does come with 5G. And uh, the perks of T-Mobile around my area is that T-Mobile gets really good 5G service around my area because uh, of the way my house is built. Other carriers kind of only get like two bars of LTE, but this is actually the only carrier that I genuinely get 5G in. So now we're going to go ahead and... Um, go to a speed test here and see what we're going to get on that two to three bars of 5G. Okay, final test results, uh, 7.91 megabits per second on download and 5.02 on upload. So, whole effects. Okay, so this was on the T-Mobile 5G. Now, I do want to see what kind of options there are uh, as far as network goes. Now, I do believe it's only LTE and 5G, but I do want to go ahead and look at that. Okay, one setting I did forget to check um, when I did the eSIM plan. Okay, so voice and data, it looks like we only have LTE and 5G options, so I'm going to go ahead and do 5G on, and then go to data mode and do allow more data on 5G. And this should make our speeds significant, significantly higher. Okay, maybe not right now because of our two bars of sucky 5G. But anyways, uh, you get the point. Um, it works for calls, text messages, data. This is especially fun if uh, maybe you have a passed down iPhone access or higher and um, you don't have service on it, or maybe your parents or whoever you live with can't afford a, to get you a plan, maybe you can't afford to get yourself one, uh, you can kind of go from these free eSIM plans here. There's a couple of other uh, apps or places that do allow you to get free eSIM. Uh, for example, TruePhone is an app in the App Store. They will give you, uh, if you're in the USA, 100 megabytes for a day. And uh, you can also do another free trial, which allows you to get 100 megabytes uh, spread out over 30 days. There's also an app called Dent, um, which allows you to get uh, as low as a gigabyte of data for $10, and it lasts for one entire year. So, uh, and that's not, that's just prepaid, that's not a reoccurring uh, phone bill. But anyways, there's a ton of ways you can get eSIM, and this is just one way to A, test out T-Mobile's network, and B, get free data. So, uh, like I said, 30 gigabytes um, is the max, so if you go 30 gigabytes, your plan ends right there, uh, or 30 days, and if you do 30 days, you know, your, your plan ends there as well. And um, so let's go ahead and make a test call. To what number? I don't know. Okay, so for this test, I'm going to use a couple of US Mobile SIM cards that I have here. Um, I'll go ahead and just choose a SIM card out of here. These are activated and uh, ready to go with a gigabyte of data each. And um, I'm going to talk in text, which uh, these plans are pretty cheap. So if you're looking for a pretty cheap phone plan uh, to get service in pretty much any area, this that's honestly a good choice. Now I just have to grab a phone. Okay, so just grabbing one of my other devices here, I'm going to go ahead and get out that SIM tray. Okay, and just like that, we do have a cellular data connection. Um, 4G LTE, as you can see in Thigh Top here. Okay, 
Now we're going to go ahead and make a test call. Um, I have no idea what the phone number is on this, so I'm going to go ahead and call uh, the number that we have for this uh, T-Mobile line. And there we go. As you can see, it is working. Now I'm going to go ahead and meet myself on here, that way it doesn't cause interference. Like that, for example. And... Jesus! <laughs> okay, you get the point. <laughs> um, anyways, get the point there. So, this is the T-Mobile Test Drive app. Uh, everything seems to be working okay so far. And uh, I'm excited to get using this, get that, get some more tests and stuff out of this. And uh, the app looks pretty nice too, which is a bonus. Um, you can also find a store on this app. Uh, there's a store locator in case you wanted to go in and talk to a uh, representative. Or you can also look at the coverage map. So you can enter your zip code or your address and uh, go ahead and find if there's good access in your area. So, before doing this eSIM, uh, if you want to, you can also find coverage details from tmobile.com, or you can just go ahead and try out the eSIM for yourself. Now, uh, on iPhone 11 and lower, you will most likely have a 3G or 4G option, probably 4G option, instead of just LTE and 5G in the settings, uh, because this, I, the iPhone 12 series is the only phone with the only iPhone with uh, 5G access instead of like 5GE or just LTE, um, you know, you're going to kind of get that uh, lower option available. So uh, thank you for joining this um, video about the T-Mobile network test drive and hope to see you on the next one. Peace.